Wait, are we going? Yep. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I heard that you started your company Swell. What um, motivated you to start it? Initially, I I wanted to find some sort of source of income. Uh, in high school, my friends were working part time, and I was not really doing anything. Um, so I kind of became fascinated by um, trends in fashion, and, uh, and you know why people are willing to spend so much money for certain brands and uh, that sort of thing. So. The idea fascinated me, you know, why are people spending $150 for some plastic and a lens? It just never really made sense to me. So I thought, you know, why can't I do that? And I did some research into, uh, you know, products that I could, could uh, manufacture and materials that I could use. And, <clears throat> you know, the sun never really goes away, it's everywhere, so... Uh, so I felt that sunglasses would be a really good product. So I went online and I, uh, I found uh, a manufacturer in China that made these Ray-Bans and I got a bunch of them and I sold them for about a year. Um, so while all of my friends were working uh, part-time jobs, I was selling fake Ray-Bans <laughs> and, and you know, people loved them. So then I started thinking, you know, I'm gonna do what Ray-Ban is doing, um, but I wanted to, you know, set myself apart from other sunglass companies. So I did some research, um, and I realized that, that wooden sunglasses were starting to become trendy. And when I did uh, research into manufacturing, I realized that you can, you can make them out of bamboo. And not only was uh, bamboo cheaper to use than other hardwoods, but uh, I think it looks a lot cooler as well. So I actually started uh, the entire company through Instagram. I used what I knew um, about social media just, just personally. Uh, I, I built this big following and people were really interested in what I was doing. Um, and, and so people started purchasing these sunglasses from me. Uh, and, uh, sold about... 300 pairs maybe uh, without even a website uh, probably illegal taxes. but uh, people were buying my sunglasses and, and it was really cool for, for me to see that you know people were interested in it people were willing to spend the money for the product that I designed and so I continued to grow swell and the way I've done it is uh, kind of organically um, Someone will contact me who likes the glasses, who, who does something cool. It's just simply exchange for the product. Um, so I give them free sunglasses and they give me cool videos. Or I give them free sunglasses and they give me cool pictures. Or if they have a million followers on Instagram, I give them free sunglasses and then they post a picture on Instagram. Um, and, and that's how I grew it. Um, it was totally through social media. Um, and so it's a great way to, to get your message across and, and for me to sell my product. So, the business has continued to grow and, uh, and I've learned a lot. I have to manage a bank account, um, correspond with my manufacturers in China. Um, the list goes on and on. Uh, I, I ran the social media for a long time, but uh, now I'm in college, I'm a sophomore. So I'm very busy with school and my academics um, and my social life as well. I'm in a fraternity. And, um, and so I've really learned to balance my time. Um, actually, no, I haven't learned to balance my time. I'm terrible at time management, but, uh, but, but I'm learning. It's a learning process, and, and, and I'm figuring it out. Uh, my dad calls me probably once every day. Mitchell, have you done this? Mitchell, have you done that? You know, we gotta do this, this, and this. We gotta check this, this, and this. And, and here I am, at my attorney house, wasting my time. So. The entire process has, has been uh, an incredible learning experience for me. Um, you know, I had an idea, and uh, and I and I acted on it, and I you know followed through with it, and it really wasn't that difficult. Um, I used 
just common knowledge of social media and the internet uh, to build this business into what it is today. And, you know, I'm here in Bali. I've never been to Asia before. Um, so this is an incredible experience for me, obviously.